this is where my life belongs. So today we're in Dev C and we want to look on structures. Um, DevC is the compiler that I use for C. However, I am going to start to research um, different compilers and probably you guys can give me the names of the compilers that you use in the comment section below. All right, so I'm researching new compilers to use because I'm not sure if something is wrong with this version that I have, but it's just not acting right. So if you know, um, give me the name of the compiler that you use um, for C in the comment section below, and I'll look into that. Um, so let's look on structures. So let's open a new. And can press Ctrl and new source file. Good include our preprocessor directive the basic which is our hashtag include excuse the noise all the way across the road stdio.h and I'm going to include the preprocessor for string because there's a function that I want to use so that's string dot h moving on now to the declaration of or structure so we want to have the word struct first followed by our structure name which is not mandatory but for at the cape level it is but in the world of programming there's different ways by which you can refer to your structure so we have our structure name and i'm going to name mine student info or opening and closing parentheses and as i said before the structure the structure is used to um, store data, store data of different data types. But your uh, instead of your structure is used to store data of different data types, while your array is used to store data of the same data type. So the structure would be the advanced aspect to. Um, array so we're going to have int because i want to accept the id number i'm going to accept the address so we have to declare that as an array because as you know there is no string data type in c so we have to declare it as a character which is char and then structure it as an array all right, so we have char address, and we're going to give it 10 as the size. We're also going to store the grade, and I can't use class, so I'm going to use form class. I'm going to have int form class, and I can't use no space, so that's form class right there, right. No whenever we're finished with our structure we end it with a semicolon at the after the closing parentheses so that is your declaration how is it that we access the structure now we do that in our main function which is int main oops good now in int main how one we right back the word struct and our structure name and it must be the same as we have at the top so we're not going to interchange any capital letter and a local variable that we want to use to access our structure and mine will be s so that is the first step i am going to declare a local variable for id so i'm going to have int id and i'm also going to initialize it at the same time so i'm going to have it be equal to four zeros right there 
So I could break it into two where I declare it and then I initialize it, but you can do it in one. And I'm also going to have a next local variable, which is the student name, which I'm going to accept from the user. So I'm going to declare that. So that's char, again, because we don't have a string data type. And name, and declare it as an array. I'm going to set the size to 50, and that's that. We have our function. So let's have printf, opening bracket, or quotation. So we're going to have enter the student name. I think every time on screen when I'm to spell student, I spell it a different way. I spell it incorrectly first. We're going to use the gets function. So gets name. All right, good. So now I want to change my ID before we go in into assigning to our structure. So I'm going to have ID is equal to ID plus one. All right. So now let's assign data to our structure. So the first thing, once it is that we're going to assign, is that we take the local variable that we declared here that we're going to use to access our structure, which is S, followed by a period or a full stop. Good. Once it is that you select the full stop, it's going to give you the variables that you have in your structure. So here, I want to assign ID number. So I'm saying that the ID number in my structure should be equal to the local variable, which is I have as ID. Good. I am going to now assign the address. For the address, I'm going to use the string copy function, which is, and it, it is basically used to assign string to a particular variable. That, that is all that it does. So that's str string copy cpy, and it's a function, so we're going to have it in parentheses. The first thing that you're going to have is the variable that we want to assign. So we have to follow the, because it the, the variable is in my structure, we're going to follow the same um, procedure as we did right here. So we're going to take the local variable, which is s dot, right? What is it that I'm assigning? The address, comma, and I'm going to put the text now that I want to assign in quotation. So I'm going to have... Alright, so that's 2, 4, 6, 8. And I'm going to have Trimbago right there. And close that. Then we have the form that we want to assign. So we follow the same procedure. Variable, the local variable that we declared to access our structure. So that's S. Followed by the full stop. And I want to assign the form class. So the form class now is going to be equal to, let's say, grade 7. Good. Let's output our data. We're going to output, so we're going to have print F. I'm going to output the student name. So student, oh Lord, student, oh Lord. In open quotation, open and closing quotation. So student space. And you must have your, because I'm going to output the student name here and I'm going to use the puts function, I'm going to have that student right there and then below it, I'm going to have puts um, name. All right, so print F again. All right, so students, so it's going to output like Tom, um, ID identification number. So here we want to output, we're going to output from the, we're going to output from the structure. 
and even though we're outputting from the structure we have to tell the system where it is that we want to output or where it is that we would want them to assign the data that we're outputting right so we have to put in our id number and we declared id number as an integer so that's going to be percentage d comma and then the variable name and that's going to be what is it so it's going to be s dot id number because that's what we want to all put right there and we could do this in one print f so that's the id number let's uh, because we don't have the the backslash n it is going to print in one line so we have the student name the id number what else did we have the address so we're going to have off and then because that now is string we're going to have our percentage sign s comma and the variable name which is s dot address good let's all put the form class now so that's print f and normally um keep you would get a question asking you how to um declare and how to access i think there's one question where you were required to do an entire thing but with so many uncertainties happening right now with the covid um it's best to be prepared than unprepared because we, we really don't know what's going to happen um there are places that are there are, there are caribbean islands that are against the proposed structure of the exam and as such no we really don't know what what is going to happen how it's going to happen and we'd have to wait until the passing of covid so stay on the yard so that this can pass and go on about it business cause quite frankly me tired of my yard i need to go i don't mind it but i would want to live instead of be fearful and just at home wondering when it is that it's going to pass is it going to pass how many persons are going to die etc 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 so wash your hands maintain social distancing stay yard you don't have to be out and about at this time all right so let's output now the form class so we're going to have off form and what is it that we that now is integer so that's percentage sign d comma and that's s dot form class close quotation and then we're going to have our return zero now let's check for errors i think it's going to ask me to save so rightly so structures save and zero good enter student name jessica don't start people name with lower case jessica jessica identity <laughs> identification number one of train bago of farm seven so let's clean this up so that it comes out better um where did i not give a space or oh, right here off this part right here so off that part all right so let's run it again compile all right so jessica did i not type capital letter for j oh jessica um so student jessica identification number one of trinbago um of form seven all right so i am thinking that because i declared it as zero 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 then it's not going to give me that so what i'm going to do let me see if it's going to change if i add zero 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 right there um compile 
and run because all right so it's giving me one again all right so let me change it let me change this to one all right that part all right run it jessica good yeah i prefer that good so if i wanted this now to happen each time i'd have to put it in a loop but i was just showing you the basics so i prefer this i hope that this was informative and it will provide some help i'm going to copy the code and put it in the description so if you want you can paste it in yours manipulate it and play around with it so that you can get your practice with um structures next we're going to look on files in c i am hoping to do that next week um for you all all right thank you goodbye please share subscribe and comment any questions that you have i'm always in my comment section so any questions that you have please feel free to insert them below do have yourself a wonderful 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 um rest of day rest of morning depending on when you're watching this and again stay safe